Hey, good to see everybody again. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So this is episode 13 of the Red Sea Reefer build and back to what you guys wanted to see. Uh, we're gonna install these wave pumps and get them connected to the Reef Beaver app. So uh, let's go. So once again, we're gonna have to alter the plugs and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Dawn Dusk is already turned off. Which other plug am I using here? Oh wow, so. Yes, I am in fact completely out of plugs. So the skimmer plug here which I haven't I still haven't hooked up my skimmer or at least I haven't started my skimmer yet uh, that was a plug I had designated that I was going to use for that well now I'm completely out of plugs on the apex board on the provided apex board so yeah we're kind of out of luck there so I'm gonna have to go to the power strip or something to get power to at least one item after this but in the meantime I have these two set up and we're gonna control type power head let's see what that does yeah we're not gonna need any of that so we're just gonna go with an always because the control type you can change all this stuff and some of it will automatically set up like if you set it to ATO, it'll be the switch, also it'll be this or that. It does have some presets in here, like, you know, pH control, that's like a dosing pump, I think, maybe. So on, when, and you can change your controls for based on that, but advanced, you can write your own program, which was how I initially set up the dawn dusk light was was in this so that because if you set up the light in this let's go to the light setup light all right so if you set up a light control type this is what you get you get a fallback position which you know like if something goes wrong the fallback is what happens to it once that power gets tripped or whatever goes wrong so if something goes wrong it turns it off and you can change that so if something goes wrong you can turn it on uh, on time off time and they're always to this to the temperature as the shutdown probe like if the lights are super hot or something goes wrong with the lights and the temperature jumps up to you know 82 or wherever you set it to 83 84 it'll turn it off and the hysteresis here we figured out is how long it will keep it off before trying to turn it back on. And if the temperature is still high, I'll turn it back off again. But that's what that does. But as you can see, you get one photo period in here. So on then, off then, that's it. If you want to do something else, you got to go in advanced. You've got, again, you fall back off, set on. If whatever, let's go back here. And let's see how I set up that dawn dusk. So here's the dawn dusk. And here's a program I wrote. Fall back on, set off. If time this to this, then on. If time this to that, then on. Minimum time, blank, then off. But that... That doesn't really matter. All that was important was was that it initially comes on and it'll go off when it's not supposed to be on. So something like four hours or something like that and three hours in the morning. So I could have the light on at two different times a day on the same light. But again, we're changing this so we're gonna give this a different icon because this is our our wave pumps. Hmm, what icon to give it? Left, right arrows? That sounds good. 
Uh, we'll change the control type to always. And this will be wave underscore one. Or pardon me, we'll go wave left and right again. So that way we can tell them apart if we're messing with this again. Turn the log off. All that's set, we'll send it to the apex. Go to this one, rename it to wave underscore right. Left right arrows, control type, always, that makes it always on. Again, we'll send it to the apex. Apex is updated. We've got wave right and wave left on our thing. I need to make sure I plug them in that way. So wave right is in, let's see, that's plug four or five. And that's plug six. Would have thought that these would have wired in with one controller, but they wire in with two. So we've done that. Back over here. And we're gonna set them to on one at a time, see if anything happens. Not appear to have been any changes. Good. So, take a look at these. And I got lights on both of them. That they're plugged in. And this one's actually doing something. Oh, they're just blinking at random. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the phone. Because really, I think I'm going to be controlling it through the phone more than anything else. And we're running out of time, so I'm trying to do this fast. Go back into the Reefy app. Running now, syncing. Okay, good. Um, aquariums. 250. Nope, that wasn't it. Um, back into the device manager. Go to the plus button. And these are Reef Wave, what are they? 25s, 45s? Reef Wave 25. Alrighty. Whoops. Somehow pressed a weird button there. So Reef Wave 25. And now it's going to look for it. So this thing didn't connect to anything. I'll try it again. Reef Wave 25. Oh, and I got to press the button on the thing. That might be why it didn't connect to it. So where's the button? Oops, I didn't hold it long enough. Um, the one on the right is the left side. All right, so I held the button on that for quite a minute. It didn't react at all. It's supposed to be flashing right now and it's not. We'll try this one. There, that one's trying to connect. Go back to this one again. That one's trying to connect. All right, so now we play the waiting game on this thing. And hope that eventually it's gonna see these wave pumps. Let's see how many tries it gets, it takes for both of these to work. So this was the same setup as the other one. Uh, basically every step was basically the same. Press and hold the button, connect it up. And we're connecting it up and hopefully I laid these out right and this is the left side, this is the right side. All right, we're successfully connected to the one on the right hand side 
it's doing anything, I'm not aware of it. There's something floating in the water there and it's not blowing around, so. Get back in here. It's downloading new firmware. So this is right wave pump. And we press our done. So uniform so it's got all the different presets. Uniform, surface, random, regular. Step, I'll just leave it at uniform. Again, if it's running, I cannot tell. Might have to stick my hand in there to make sure it's actually doing something. It tells me what my flow setting is. All right, I played with the dial, it didn't do anything. If this thing's actually doing something, I cannot tell. Even by sticking my fingers in front of it. Okay, so I hit like an update button on this thing and the pump kicked on. And I swear all that came out of the pump, but I don't think that's possible. Maybe it's possible. Oh well, it's going to be in the filter sock here in a minute. Or it'll settle. We'll see. So let's connect the other one up. And then maybe we'll slow it down or something, because that looks like a lot. So the ReefWave firmware update does it automatically. It wasn't like the... LED 50s where I had to update the firmware kind of manually. There we go. Next, rename your device. And it gives me an option to group them or leave them ungrouped. We're going to do group setup. Fault intensities are set. I'm not sure whether the okay now I hear it so the other pump is kicked on so they're like doing a thing here we go they're both set at 40 percent so I don't know if that's too much or not enough because the gobies have been hiding so I don't get to see them blowing around in the the breeze here But so far, it looks like these things are just acting like power heads. I thought they would do more of a gentle back and forth. But they don't. So hopefully all this crap floating around in here is eventually going to get sucked up into the overflow and collected in the filter media and the filter sock because I don't have much time to do much else today um, of course that is going crazy again lights on this thing are going back and forth and back and forth You can see the connection is showing that it's connected to the reef wave. So I don't know if they're like running up the speed and then slowing down and then going back up again. Let's try and touch it, maybe get a feel for it. Yep, that's exactly what they're doing. So every time the lights go to four bars there, that's the 40%. Every time the light comes on, the pump runs. So on, off. 
left one on, right one, or pardon me, yeah. So, they're both off, left one comes on, right one comes on, left one turns off, right one turns off. Rinse and repeat, back and forth. And I hope this setting's good. I don't know, I've got, like I said, a bunch of junk floating around, the occasional bubble. So maybe I have to put these deeper into the tank. I'm not quite sure yet. Again, I'm about completely out of time. So lights are on, programmed up, wave pumps are in, they're running. Possibly too much, maybe not enough. I don't know yet, too soon to tell. But that's gonna do it for this episode because I have to leave for work. So I'll see you next time.